morning, good morning, guys, and a welcome in. We are just leaving, uh, well, not really the truck stop, it's uh, McDonald's that's got parking here for trucks. So uh, we spent the night in here, and now it's time to get on down the road. We just Continue finished uh, for taking our break. Now we gotta get back on the road again, right? That's right. And they are calling for some more rain up here in this area today, but as of right now, it's not doing anything, although it was drizzling when I got up. And uh, I checked my uh, antifreeze container and all that again, and it had dropped a little bit, so I added a little bit more antifreeze into it. So uh, I think we should be good now. I think we've been driving uh, yeah, about seven hours, I would say, all together, and uh, probably two and a half, I would say three and a half of those were probably uh, loaded already, so uh, it's got a good workout and all that, so we should be A-OK -okay to go right now, I would say. So let's hammer down and get on down the road. We appreciate you guys tuning in again. We'll see what kind of day we will have today. I know we gotta really drive a good ways down the road yet if we can. And uh, yeah, we still have 844 miles to go to our customer and we're supposed to be there tomorrow. So, uh, which we will, we will be there tomorrow. It's gonna be tomorrow afternoon probably, but we will be there tomorrow. So let's hammer down guys and see what happens. I have already gone through Superior and Duluth, Wisconsin. Well, Superior, Wisconsin, Duluth, Minnesota and all of that. And it's finally gotten uh, some sunshine. I still see quite a bit of clouds up here, but yeah, it was uh, kind of drizzling, raining, whatever there this morning for a little while. And now we're getting nice sunshine, that's right got about 109 miles to go and then we'll be on I-94 I like to go down the I-94 up to 39 go down that way towards uh, Jackson Missouri go down the 55 and all that and that way I can stay on the interstate uh, other than that if I were to go 35 up to Minneapolis then from that point I have to take a lot of back roads which in essence to me that takes way longer to do plus you don't have as many truck stops plus you got a lot more towns to go through and all that but anyways here we are just cruising down the road I gotta make me a uh, pit stop somewhere yet take my half an hour break but I haven't quite decided exactly where I'm going to be doing that I really don't know yet however I will need some fuel yet somewhere and I'm gonna try and fuel up at the Loves somewhere. I know that today is the last day of the month and uh, would be kind of nice to fuel up all the way, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that since uh, this load is a little bit heavy when I scaled it. I was right around the 34,000 mark and I only had a little bit over a half a tank of fuel. So I don't know how much I'll really be able to fuel tonight. I might only be able to fuel up to about three quarters of a tank. And even with that, I might have to uh, slide my trailer axle a little bit further forward. Which I don't really want to do too much more, but I could probably do a little bit. But other than that, we're just cruising along because I was... Uh, I was only 33 and a bit on the back, so I have about 800 pounds left in the back. So I could easily uh, slide two holds forward. That would take 800 pounds off the front of my drive. So then I could fuel up a little bit more, right? But other than that, we're just enjoying our beautiful day up here today. All right, guys, it was time for our half an hour break. So let's take a look on what we're having. Look at that, guys. We're having us a DQ ice cream, some fries, and a chicken sandwich right there. Look at that. 
I think it's going to be a good lunch and a good half an hour break, guys. Time to get out of here, guys. It really is. <clears throat> We've had our half an hour break now. And right across the street from here, there is a uh, dairy cream. And that's where we went to and had us a good lunch. So now we got to get out of here and uh, get back on the road again. That's right. We uh, just got us a reload offer, so we are supposed to uh, reload in Mississippi and then uh, go straight back home again. In 400 feet, turn left on oh, US well. 10. I guess it is what it is. But anyways, we'll get back on the interstate and uh, hammer down again. So that means we will pretty much have to uh, drive as far as we can tonight so that way we can uh, make it all the way to our customer to uh, pick up our reload tomorrow because it's uh, 200 and about 270 280 miles from where I deliver to where I pick up again so uh, it's a good distance, that's for sure. So yeah, we got our work cut out for us, but uh, that's okay. In a quarter of a mile, that customer the uh, to the left on I where I'm picking up is uh, got my appointment scheduled for 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So yeah, that's gonna suck, but. Whatever, that's In trucking guys. Feet, Sometimes we gotta to do it that way. East. So the load picks up at 10 o'clock at night. Meaning uh, I get there at 10. They put me in the dock. And it's probably gonna take three hours to get me loaded over there. Because of the product. So that's what it says in the load offer. And I know what it is, I just can't talk about it. Because that's our company's policy that uh, <clears throat> I cannot talk about what I hold generally. I mean, sometimes, occasionally, I break the rule because it's not really secret or important or whatever. But for the most part, you'll never hear me talk about what we haul. And that is the reason why. But anyways, we had stopped here at exit 88, uh, Oshawa, whatever you call it. Here in Wisconsin, it's uh, mile marker 88 and uh, 116 would be Black River Falls. So uh, if we go east, which we are. <clears throat> so anyways, that's hammer down and Continue on this road. see how far we can make it. I know we will have to make us another pit stop here soon too, just to get some fuel. And I really want to get fuel at the Loves. I just kind of like fueling at the Loves. So... Uh, probably find us the loves here pretty soon and then pull in there and get some fuel and continue on with our journey time to get on out of here guys just finished fueling up here at the loves here in wisconsin so now we got 240 more miles to go where my goal is to spend the night at and uh i have exactly four hours to do it in so uh yeah, we got our work cut out for us, but we're going to do our best, right? We're going to do our best, like we always do. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I didn't fill it up all the way, but we filled up a good amount. Maybe not 100% all the way filled, but, you know, we did okay, I think. Well, anyways, let's get on uh, down the road, back on the interstate, and uh, get the miles rolling, right? I know it's still fairly warm out here. Right now it's about uh, 29 degrees Celsius, so it is nice and warm, that's for sure. At least I can't complain. I'm enjoying the nice warm weather, that's for sure. I hope it's nice and warm where you guys are at. It's been a it's been a pretty decent day, I gotta say, today. 
It rained a little bit this morning, which that's okay. But now it's not raining anymore. We got beautiful sunshine and nice warm weather. I went and cleaned my windshield as well, so you guys can see nicer outside, nicely outside. So let's go ahead and hammer down, guys, and get on down the road. All right, guys, we have come to the end of our shift, or basically end of our video, I guess I could say, but uh, yeah. We are done. We already had us a good night's sleep. And let me show you guys how much bugs we've gotten here last night. I'm hoping you guys can see it. Like especially right here. Look at that. All these bugs on here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about the other day. Like around this time of the year, you get tons and tons of bugs on your windshield so what we're going to do is uh, pull up to the uh, fuel island here in a minute and then I'm going to go ahead and clean off all these uh, bugs off of the windshield there so you guys can see through the windshield again but yeah we had us a good night's sleep and we got us that reload that it picks up at uh, 10 o'clock tonight so I can't really leave too early anyways so that way I can still make it there on time or, or you know within my 14 hours right so anyways I appreciate you guys watching my vlog again today if you liked it leave me a thumbs up and if you didn't leave me a thumbs down I don't care either way as long as you watch the video right and don't forget to share the video as well and uh, hey let me a, leave me a comment below and, uh, and, and, and let me know what you think so with that being said have a great day everybody and we'll be back tomorrow guys don't go nowhere. Have a great day.